And awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, wonderful. So we'll just start in a simple seated position. So just anything that's comfortable to you. You can either just cross the legs and sit or bend the knees if you want to sit on a bolster, a blanket. We'll just take a moment just to get grounded, start to find some stillness. And then just beginning to find your alignment, beginning to root down through the sits bones. And try to sit up tall through the spine, crown of the head lengthens towards the sky. Feel the shoulders soften down the back. Then just start to bring awareness towards the breath. Just noticing the natural rhythm of your breath, not forcing anything. Just allow it to be an involuntary breath. And then just start to find three deep diaphragmatic breaths through the abdomen. Just filling up the lungs, feeling expansion on the inhalations. And contracting the belly back towards the spine on the exhalations. Maybe use that to release, to let go, to surrender. Just two more like that. And then just starting to find that ujjayi breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Begin to lightly constrict the muscles at the back of the throat. And you start to find an audible breath that sounds like the ocean. This breath allows us to become a little bit more present. It allows us to get that energy moving throughout the body. And also building some heat within the body. So we start to warm up from the inside out. Just a few more rounds here, just connecting with that breath. And then if you'd like to set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to focus or concentrate on, hands can come to heart center if you'd like. Maybe you dedicate this practice to someone or something today. And take a deep inhale, seal that in. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. And then slowly on your next inhale, making your way into tabletop position as you rock over the knees or out to the side. And spreading the fingers wide. And just start to find cat cows. On the inhale, lifting the gaze, belly draws towards the floor. Exhale, cat spine, press the floor away, ears between the shoulder blades. And then just taking this on your own, matching your breath with your movement. So I don't normally practice with you guys. I might add in a couple things, but for the most part, I won't be practicing with you. So if you wanna find any other natural organic movement that calls to you, anything that feels good, maybe you start to sway the hips side to side or finding big circles. And then from your tabletop, exhale to puppy on a hatasana. Hips stay stacked over the knees and then walk your hands straight out in front. So the knees stay down to the floor. Yeah, hips are directly over the knees and then walk the hands straight out in front. Good, so you should feel this through the shoulders. The forehead relax and melts all the way down. Yeah, you got it. And find two more rounds of breath. Inhale to Sphinx, press through the forearms, the hips lower, heart draws forward, crown of the head lengthens. So shoulders are directly over the elbows. Good, so coming onto the forearms, rock forward. Good, crown of the head lengthens. Good, so it looks like this. 
And then if you'd like, you can start to find circles with the neck, maybe just drawing one ear down and all the way around, full or half circles. Just releasing out any tension in the cervical spine or the neck. And then begin to glue your chin to the chest. Start to engage the core and quads, press into the tops of the feet, lift all the way up to the ankles. Feel the navel draw to the back of the body, start to feel the core fire up. Inhale, sphinx, hips lower, crown of the head lengthens. Good, finding that again, exhale, chin lightly towards the chest, press into the tops of the feet, lift all the way up, feel the navel draw to the back of the body, keep pressing the floor away. Inhale, sphinx, hips lower, crown of the head lengthens. Last time, exhale, chin draws towards the chest, press into the tops of the feet, lift all the way up, navel to the back of the body. Holding here for three, two, one, exhale, lower. Crown of the head lengthens. And lower the forehead all the way to the mat on the exhale, fingers come in line with the chest. Inhale, little baby cobra, take a small back bend, shoulders down the back. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Again, inhale, little baby cobra, maybe this time the hands hover. Finding more back and core strength. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Last time, inhale, little baby cobra, maybe lift higher. Again, hover the hands, hold through the exhale. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Tuck the toes, engage the core. Inhale, plank. Press up in one straight line. Exhale, down dog, press back. Hips to sky, heels to the floor, shoulders soften. Maybe you pedal out the feet. Option to walk it out, shake it out. Let the head go side to side. Dristy gaze is all the way towards your navel. So you start to find an upside down V shape here. Try to settle into some stillness. Heels melt to the floor. Hips to the sky. Shoulders soften. Breath is strong. As you find more stillness, more discipline, the mind starts to quiet. The body strengthens. And then the breath just supports everything else. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Shoulders come over the wrists. Press the floor away. Shoulder blades draw together. Energy through the crown of the head and the heels. Lead with the hips. Exhale, down dog. Press back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Lead with the hips. Press back. And last time, inhale, shift forward to plank. Good. Find your strongest plank. Navel to the back of the body. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, lift high up onto the toes, press into the palms and tippy toe your way to the top of the mat. So feet are about hip distance apart. And take a hold of opposite elbows with the crown of the head melt towards the floor. Maybe you gently sway side to side or back and forth. Or stillness is always welcome. Take two more rounds of breath. If you feel like you're holding on to anything, maybe take this time to literally shake it out of the body and let it go. Gently release your bind, keep a deep bend in the knees, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last, so there's no rush. Good. Slowly, slowly. Good, feel the shoulders soften down the back, hands come by the side, take a moment just to reset, maybe the eyes close. As you're here, start to feel some grounding on the exhalations, the feet come into the earth. On the inhale, standing up tall, finding self-confidence on your own two feet. Awareness comes to your core, your center, where you find that essence of your being. Perhaps you take a moment to step back into your intention. Your next inhale, open the eyes, sweep the hands up and over the head, maybe palms touch, look to the thumbs. Hollow the belly, exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forehead towards shins. 
Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, shoulder blades draw together. Hold through the exhale. Inhale, step back through plank. So you find a little bit of strength on that exhale. And exhale, chaturanga, elbows hug the body. Good, low plank. Inhale, up dog, Ardha Mukha. Exhale, down dog, Ardha Mukha. Three breaths. Heels to floor, hips to sky, shoulders soften. Bend the knees, lift the gaze, inhale, step or float to the top of the mat and halfway lift. Hollow the belly, exhale, folds. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach to the sky, look to the sky, maybe palms touch. Go back to the top of the mat. Exhale, hands to heart center, right or by your side, good, so standing. Inhale, hands sweep up and over, maybe palms touch, look thumbs. Exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forehead towards shins. Inhale, halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. So either step back through plank and lower or float straight back. Here the inhale, up dog. Here the exhale, down dog, three breaths. Bend the knees, lift the gaze, inhale, step or float, top of the mat, halfway lift. Hollow the belly, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, back to stand, maybe palms touch, look thumbs. Exhale, hands to the heart or right by your side. Good, last sunne, inhale, hands reach up and back, maybe take a little back bend. Exhale, hinge and fold through, Uttanasana, forehead towards the shins. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, float or step it back. Good, here the inhale, up dog, spill the head back. Here the exhale, down dog, press it back. Step the feet together to touch. Inhale, the right leg rises high to the sky. Start to find circles with your right ankle one way and then the other. So just isolating the ankle, everything else is still and in down dog. Try to relax the left heel to the floor. Feel the stretch in the back chain of the leg. As you engage the core, lift the right heel higher. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Inhale, three point. Exhale, twisted mountain climber, tap your left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, tap your right tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, bend the knee, peel the hip open, draw the heel towards the sits bone, knee to the sky. Good. Try to lift the knee a little bit higher towards the sky, so literally feeling the right hip on top of the left, peeling the hip open. Inhale, straighten out the legs, square off the hips. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Try to lift the knee a little bit higher, step the foot all the way through, high crescent, all 10 toes are forward. Engage the back leg high on the back toes, but in a lunge position. And on the exhale, interlace the hands behind the back, palms towards touching. Inhale, open up the heart, the shoulders, the chest. Maybe you find a little bit of a back bend. Try to stay stable through the lower body, squeeze inner thighs together. Exhale, easy twist. Lower left hand to the floor, right arm rises, press the floor away. Reach up, maybe lift up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg comes high to the sky. Option to ride the exhale, chaturanga. Keep the foot lifted. Lower the foot, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Step the feet together to touch. Inhale, the left leg rises. Start to find circles with your left ankle. We're going one way and then the other. Try to relax the right heel towards the floor as you lift the left heel higher. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Inhale, three point. Exhale, twisted mountain climber, tap your right tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, tap your left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, bend the knee, peel the hip open, draw the heel towards the sits bone, knee towards the sky. 
So feel that opening through the hip. Keep relaxing the right heel down. Inhale, straighten the legs, square up the hips. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose, cut the spine, lift the knee higher, step the foot through. High press in, inhale, rise. Good, so you find that lunge position, all 10 toes face forward. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back, palms towards touching. And then on the inhale, maybe open up the heart, the shoulders, the chest, gaze comes up. Exhale, easy twist. Right hand comes down, left arm rises. Press the floor away. Reach up, look up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Frame the foot. Right leg high to, or left leg high to the sky. Good. Exhale, shift forward. Find chaturanga. Maybe leg is lifted. Lower the foot. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, twisted mountain climber top. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber top, right tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step the foot through. High press and inhale, all 10 toes forward. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back, palms towards touching. Inhale, open up the heart, the shoulders, the chest. Exhale, easy twist, left hand down, right arm rises. Next inhale, find wild thing. So left hand is down, slowly step the right leg up and over the body. Right leg comes down, lift the hips, heart opens. Exhale, fall in star, right hand comes down, right leg through, left arm rises. Inhale, side plank, Vashisasana, left hand down, right side of the body rises, lift the hips. Maybe try to lift them higher than the shoulders. Exhale, take your flow, or skip and go right to down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, twisted mountain climber top. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, top left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step it through, high crescent, inhale. Exhale, eat, uh, bind the hands behind the back. Inhale, open up heart, shoulders, chest. Exhale, easy twist, right hand down, left arm rises. Inhale, wild thing, step the left leg up and over the body. Hips lift, heart opens. Exhale, fall on star, left hand down, left leg through, right arm rises. Inhale, side plank, right hand down, left side of the body rises. Step the hips, the shoulders. Exhale, take your flow, or come right to down dock. Last variation through, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, mountain climber, hold or fly if you have an arm balance. Five, four, three, two, one, awesome. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step the foot through, high crescent, inhale. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, open up the heart, the shoulders, the chest. The option to keep this bind, moving into warrior three on the exhale. So keep the bind and shift forward to the right leg. Left leg rises, or if that's too much, you can release the hands to the floor. So you're finding balance. Or hands can come by the heart, by the side, whatever works best for you. Good. Both legs are straight. Try to lift through the chest. Inhale, store, call of the belly, left knee rises high to the sky. Reach the hands up and over the head, strong through that right standing leg. See if you can lift the left knee higher. 
Exhale, easy twist, big step back, left hand down, right arm rises. And then finishing with that same flow, inhale, wild thing, step the right leg up and over the body, hips come high, heart open, just like you did before, good. Exhale, fallen star, right hand down, right leg through, maybe the foot hovers this time and left arm rises. Awesome. Inhale, side plank, Vashisasana, left hand down, right side rises. Last time here, maybe lift a leg to the sky, tree or star. Good, two more breaths. Exhale, take a flow or right to down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, mountain climber, hold or fly. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step the foot through. High crescent, inhale, all 10 toes forward. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, open up heart, shoulders, chest, gaze comes up. Exhale, warrior three, find balance, keep the bind if you'd like, shift the weight to the left leg, your right leg rises. If needed, hands come to the floor, no problem. Maybe hands to heart, try to square the head soft, both legs straight, lift through the chest, inhale, stork, hollow the belly, right knee high to the sky. Strong through left standing leg, strong as a tree trunk, see if you can lift the right knee a little bit higher. Awesome. Exhale, easy twist, big step back, right hand to the floor, left arm rises, press up, reach up. Inhale, wild thing, slowly step the left leg up and over the body. Left leg stays bent, right leg straight, good. Exhale, fallen star, left hand down, left leg through, maybe hover it above the mat, right arm rises. Inhale, side plank, Vashisasana, right hand down, left arm rises, stack shoulders, hips and heels, lift your hips higher than your shoulders. So two more breaths. Exhale, take that vinyasa, or go right to down dog. And we'll hold our down dog. I'm trying to find that discipline here to be still. Come back to the flow of the breath if you've lost that ujjayi breathing at all. A deep, free breathing, supporting the rest of your practice. Bend the knees, lift the gaze, inhale, step or float to the top of the mat and halfway lift. Hollow the belly, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, graze the ground chair, pose utkatasana, bend the knees, weight in the heels, lift through the chest. Try to squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Straighten arms and elbows to soften the shoulders down the back. On the exhale, maybe try to sink a little bit lower. On the inhale, reach a little bit higher. One more like that. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana, forehead towards shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Float or step it back. And here your inhale, up dog. Here, your exhale, down dog. Inhale, right side, warrior one. Spin the back foot to 45 degrees, right leg forward. Yeah, warrior one. Start strong through the back leg. Try to square the hips and shoulders to the top of the mat. Sink lower on the exhale. Reach higher on the inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Windmill the hands over. Look past your right middle finger. Deep bend in that front knee. See if you can parallel the thigh to the mat. Weight is in the center of the body. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful, right arm comes up and over. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh, extend the left arm up and over, finding a little bit of dynamic movement first. Inhale, peaceful, right arm up and over. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh, extend the left arm up and over. Good, last time, inhale, peaceful, right arm up and over, stay low in the front leg. Exhale, full side angle, Parshvokanasana, right hand down. Good, stay low in that front leg, parallel the thigh. Option to reach that arm up and over the ear. And if hand up two is too hard on the floor, you bring it back to the thigh. Good, try to square or lift that shoulder back. 
Good, guys. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg, engage the quad. Exhale, trikonasana triangle, lean forward. Right hand down, left arm rises. Try to lean the body back, press to the outer blade of the back foot. Good, keep leaning back, lean back, lean back. Good, inhale, three-legged dog, frame the foot, right leg high to the sky. Good, on your exhale, take that vinyasa or right to down dog. Inhale, left side, warrior one, spin the back foot to 45 degrees. Good, engage the back leg. Good, deep bend in that front knee. See if you can parallel the thigh. Good, and then try to sink a little bit lower on the exhale. Reach a little bit higher on the inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Windmill the hands over. Look past your left middle finger. Good, deep bend in that front knee. Feel the knee over the pinky toe. Weight is in the center of the body. Flip the palm. Inhale, peaceful. Left arm up and over. Try to touch the back wall. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh. Extend the arm up and over the ear. Good, inhale, peaceful warrior, left arm up and over. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh. Good, last time, inhale, peaceful, left arm up and over. Exhale to your fullest expression of side angle, partial kanasana, left hand down, right arm rises. Try to parallel the thigh to the mat, press outer blade of back foot for stability. Gonna open up the heart to the sky. Inhale, warrior two, strong through the legs, rise back up. Straighten the leg, engage the quad. Exhale, trikonasana triangle. Gonna reach forward, left hand down, right arm rises, and then lean the body back. So try to get the chest in line with your left thigh. Both legs are straight, best effort, hand can come to the shin if needed. Gonna press to the outer blade of the back foot. Inhale, three-legged dog, frame the foot, left leg high to the sky. Option to ride the exhale, chaturanga, or just stay in down dog. Bend the knees, lift the gaze, inhale, step or float, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Bend the knees, graze the ground, inhale, chair pose, utkatasana. And on the exhale, twist to your left, so right forearm is outside the thigh. Press palms together, shoulder step. Try to get the hips lower than the shoulders. Good, so really bring that forearm outside the thigh and twist deeply. Try to twist with the rib cage in the chest rather than the shoulders. Inhale, reach the hands back through center, chair pose, stay low in the hips. Good, exhale, twist to the right, left forearm outside the thigh. Press palms together, shoulder stack, twisting with the chest and the rib cage to find more space and strength. Inhale, back through center, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, take your flow, meet back in down dog. So we'll find a similar flow to before and then add on. Good, inhale, right side, warrior one. Step the foot through. So you have closed pelvis, hips are square to the top of the mat, shoulders square to the top of the mat. Good. Back foot at 90 degrees. Exhale, warrior two. Windmill the hands over, look past your right middle finger, deep bend in the front knee. See if you can go lower on the exhale. Good. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful. Right arm comes up and over. Exhale, side angle to hold. Five breaths, Parshvokanasana. If you explore binds in your practice or have a different variation. Good, and if you can easily catch your fingers in a bind, next you try to catch your wrist. So right hand would catch left wrist if you have that. On your next inhale, warrior two. Straighten the leg, engage the quad. Exhale, trikonasana triangle. Good. So if you feel like you're folding down a little bit, take the hand to the shin instead so you can lean the body back. So more important than getting hand to the floor, body is leaning back. Try to look to the hand and then maybe the hand can lower down. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, revolve triangles. Lower down. Step your back foot in and up and twisting over the right leg. So left hand comes down. 
Right arm rises. Maybe you look to the lifted hand. Gonna draw that hip down and back. Inhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Right hand comes down, left side of the body rises. Flex back foot, lift the heel high to the sky. If you have a block, feel free to use it here, even a water bottle. Exhale, standing splits, fold over the right leg, left toes high to sky. Maybe forehead or chin, walk back towards the shin, try to get the toes to touch the sky. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Option to walk your hands forward if you want to explore with something. You can try to float left leg up, land left leg down, chaturanga. Or you can skip and step back. So you switch the legs in the air, yeah. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Good, spin the back foot to 45 degrees, left leg forward. Good, hips are squaring off to the top of the mat, same with the shoulders. Exhale, warrior two. Now windmill the hands over. Look past the left middle finger deep into that front knee. Try to go lower on the exhale. Stay there, flip the palm, inhale, peaceful, left arm up and over. Exhale, side angle, partial kanasana, your five breaths or your expression for five breaths. If you took that bind on the other side, take it here. Stay with your breath, two more rounds. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg, engage the quad, exhale, trikonasana triangle, left hand down, right arm rises. Good, maybe hand is to the shin, so try to lean that body back with your leg in one straight line. And then maybe explore with the hand lowering. Take an inhale. Exhale, revolve triangle, parvita trikonasana. Square the hips off, step the back foot in and up and twist over your left leg. Maybe right palm is flat to the floor, try to draw the hip down and back. Look to the lifted left hand. Feel stability through the lower body. Inhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, left hand comes forward, right side of the body rises, flex back foot, lift the heel high to the sky, again try to lean the body back, flex the foot, lift the heel a little bit higher, exhale, standing splits, fold over left leg, right toes high to sky, forehead or chin, maybe find the shin. Inhale, halfway left. So option, you can walk your hands about a foot forward and then lifting high on the big toe, try to float right leg up. Maybe land right leg down, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, malasana, yogi squat, step or float. The feet outside hands. And sit down low, crown of the head is towards the sky. Feet are flat on the floor. A couple rounds of breath. Try to keep that length through the spine. Good option to stay here. You can move into Bakasana Crow Pose if you want to play with an arm balance. If you're a little bit newer to this, try to spread the fingers wide. You can bend your elbows deeper, bring the knees to the outside of the arms, and then maybe just explore bringing the weight forward and keeping the feet down. If you feel comfortable, maybe lifting one foot and then lifting the other. So the more the elbows are bent, the deeper, uh, easier it is. If you're a little bit more seasoned in that, try to bring the knees higher and towards the triceps. So they're straight under the arms and then straighten arms and elbows, heels touch, hips keep lifting. So you have a really good grip on the mat. Good, try to float a little bit higher, maybe exhale chaturanga, float back from crow or step back to down dog. Inhale, right leg out of the sky. Exhale, twist and mountain climber. Extend the leg, fall and star. Maybe take an arm balance instead if you have it. Good, here for three, two, one. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step the foot through, warrior one. Inhale, rest. 
Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg, engage the quad. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle. Good, lean the body back, both legs straight. Take an inhale. Exhale, revolve, triangle. We'll hold a little bit longer here. Second round, left hand is down. Good, maybe explore placing the hand on top of your right foot or outside. There's a twisting sauna, so other hand is down. Inhale, half moon, right hand comes forward, left side rises. If you have a bind, you can catch that back foot. Maybe play with lowering the bottom hand to the heart. Exhale, standing splits. Good, if you have handstands in your practice, or maybe just holding and exploring the hamstrings, going a little bit deeper, both hands are down, frame the foot. Try to lift the heel a little bit higher. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, bend the knees, reach the hands overhead. On the exhale, twist to the left, right forearm outside the thigh, option to hold here, option to open up your arms if you have side crow, Parshvabhakasana. We'll be here for five, four, maybe try to twist deeper, three, two, one, inhale back through center, chair pose. Exhale, hinge and fold. Go, just fold. Yeah, we'll do the other side after. Good, so just fold. <laughs> and inhale, halfway lift. Good, heel toe your feet, hip distance apart. Catch peace fingers to big toes, head and chest are lifted. Hollow the belly, exhale, hinge and fold. Bend the elbows out to the side, upper body to thighs, maybe forehead draws between the shins. Keep tilting at the pelvis, hips to sky. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Without folding, just exhale. Inhale, release your bind, heel toe feet back, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, float or step it back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Other side, inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the leg. Exhale, trikonasana. Take an inhale. Exhale, revolve, triangle. Step the foot in and up. Right hand down, left arm rises. Good holding. Maybe explore with hand on top of the foot or outside. Inhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, left hand down, right side rises. Good option to play with that bind on this side. Maybe lower the hand to the heart. Good, finding more balance. Exhale, standing splits, release, square the hips off, fold over the left leg. Option for handstand or hops or holding. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, bend the knees, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, twist to the right, left forearm outside the thigh. Good, so doing the other side, press palms together, shoulder stack, option open up the arms. Option for side pro, Parshvabhakasana, just hold where you are for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Inhale, chair, come back through center. Exhale, hinge and fold, straight leg, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. Heel toe your feet, hip distance apart. This time, stepping on the hands, put a hastasana, toes to wrist. Keep the lift in the head of the chest, arms and the elbows are straight. Exhale, hinge and fold, hollow the belly, upper body to thighs. Bend the elbows down, shoulders soften. Keep the bind, inhale, lift the head and the chest. Without folding, just exhale. 
Option one more time, inhale, Bakasana Crow Pose. If you'd like to take that again, or you can just float back. The option maybe on the inhale, just lift up, and then exhale, float back, Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Find five rounds of breath in down dog. And maybe slow the breath back down if needed. Deep inhalations, deep exhalations. And then your inhale, finding Navasana Boat Pose. Step or jump the legs through, find a seat. So first variation, hands can come behind the back and knees can be bent, feet are flexed. So option, you can stay here. Try to lift through the chest, so try not to touch your legs. Bring hands behind the back instead. Because if we do this, we don't strengthen the hamstring, we don't strengthen our hip flexors. So try not to touch your legs. Or hands come forward, or legs can be straight, full expression. Shoulders soften down the back, lift through the chest here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, hands to the heart. Exhale, canoe. Feet are flexed, press to the low back, shoulders lift. Inhale, Madhasana. Good, lift back up, knees can be bent. Exhale, canoe. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, twist to the left, hands at heart center, forearm outside the thigh. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, canoe. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe. Hold here, option to row side to side for 10, or just hold nine. Try to stay with it, eight, seven, six, five, four, navel to the back of the body, three, two, one, let it go. Inhale, release. Point the toes, reach the hands overhead, lengthen. Exhale, hug the knees to the chest. Rocking up and down on the spine a couple times. Maybe wrap up and over. You can take one more vinyasa. Or skip and go to down dog. And then finding pigeon on the right. Right shin is to the top of the mat. Flex the top foot. If you can, maybe try to parallel the shin to the top. If this brings too much pain to the knees, too much uncomfort, then come on the back and find figure four, crossing the right ankle above the left knee. So you take whatever option works for you. And then option you can sit up tall or fold into it. If you feel like you're rocking onto your right side, try to press into the top of your left thigh. Again, try to find some stillness. Just relax the head down. Let everything go. If you feel like your mind is starting to wander, try to inhale for a count of five and exhale for a count of five, giving yourself something to focus on. Two more rounds of breath.
Next inhale, sitting up tall, find your palms. Moving into a seated twist, so you'll swing your left foot over your bent right knee. If that feels too intense, you can straighten out the bottom leg. Good. Left hand behind the back if needed. All right, keep it there. Good. If needed, right arm rises to the inhale, and then exhale the twist, forearm outside the thigh. Inhale, lengthen, try to sit up tall. Exhale, twist, try to get the rib cage all the way to the other side of the room. Looking past your left shoulder without cranking the neck. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, twist. One more together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, the gaze comes forward. Exhale, unravel. If you'd like, you can twist to the other side. Counter that out. And then moving to pigeon on the left, you can take a vinyasa to get there or just bring left shin to the top, back leg is straight. Or move on to your back if you did before. Try to press strongly into the top of the right side, a square off the hips. And then either sit up tall or fold into it. Maybe you come all the way down to the forehead. Try to take the same variation you took on the other side. And again, maybe try to inhale for a count of five and exhale for a count of five, giving the mind something to focus on. Working more prana throughout the body. Two more breaths. Next inhale, sitting up tall. Moving into that seated twist, Ardha Matsandrasana. Exhale, bring the weight to the left. Swing the right leg up and over. Straighten the bottom leg out if needed. Good. Right hand behind the back of the second spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, forearm outside the thigh, and then again, sit up tall, lift the head. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, twist, right shoulder back, left shoulder forward as you twist with the rib cage all the way to the other side. Keep the strength through the spine. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, the gaze comes forward. Exhale, unravel, maybe counter that out. Come back through center, both soles of the feet, find the mat, knees are bent. Hands come straight out by your side and slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Coming all the way to the spine. Maybe bring the feet back in closer. Option the fingers, maybe graze the back of the heels. Setting up for bridge pose, take a moment, just exhale. And then inhale, press into the feet, engage glutes and core, lift the hips. If you want to come up a little bit higher, try to roll the shoulders underneath the body and interlace the hands. Keep lifting chest to sky and chin. Hips lift all the way up. Press into the feet as if you were standing. So feeling all that strength through the lower body. Key to back bend, strong legs and easy breathing. Slowly, slowly, exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Soles of the feet come together, knees out wide, Supta Baddha Konasana, release that out. And take a moment, just letting your body reset. Second round, inhale, prep your hands and feet for bridge or maybe wheel. Take a moment, just exhale there. And then inhale, lifting up, bridge or wheel, find your expression. 
Here for five. Again, strong legs and easy breathing. Four. Three. Two. One, tuck the chin, exhale, lower down, one vertebrae at a time, slowly, slowly. This time knees come together, feet come out about max distance apart. Good. So feet max distance apart, knees together. Good. Gently release the low back in a different way. Third and final, bridge or wheel. Inhale, prep your hands or feet. Exhale there. Inhale, lifting up. Your best one yet. Here for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Tuck the chin from wheel. Lower down one vertebrae at a time on the exhale. Soles of the feet come together, knees out wide. Again, Supta Baddha Konasana. Placing one hand on the belly, one hand finds your heart. Taking this moment just to be grateful for three things in your life today. Take a deep inhale, seal that in. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Place the hands under the knees, gently draw them together again and towards the chest. Moving into your favorite inversion, maybe you take happy baby, option for shoulder stand or a waterfall. And finding eight rounds of breath. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time, no rush. Finding a supine twist, hands come to a T, knees into the chest, exhale, legs to the left, gaze to the right. These can also stay neutral as well. Inhale, center. Exhale, legs to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale, center. Wrap the arms around the legs, give yourself a hug. Exhale, Apanasana, eyes to the knees. Inhale, lower head, neck, and shoulders. Exhale to release your legs out straight, heels to each corner of the mat, setting up for your final Shavasana, final rest. Feet are a little bit wider than mat distance apart, allowing the hands to come down by your side. The body is still. Mind is quiet. Breath is slow. Just allowing your heart to fill. We'll stay here for five minutes. Take your biggest inhale of your practice of your morning. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Surrender to your Shavasana.
Allow your breath to deepen. Sending prana throughout the body, your breath, life force and energy. Bring awareness back to the body, make small movement, wiggle fingers and toes. Circles with the wrist and the ankles. Gently draw the knees in towards the chest. Making way to your right side, using right arm as a pillow. Just taking this moment to reset, renew. Allowing body, mind, and soul to recharge. Keeping the eyes closed, gently coming up to a simple seat. Hands come to the heart center, Anjali Mudra. Mm -hmm. 